What's up, my name is Spencer, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at an effect made popular by Nevin Doyle. You may know him as Mishko on Instagram. Super rad dude, and the effects that he does and creates is insane. A lot of chroma shifts, he uses the liquify tool a lot. His artwork is crazy, check him out. But yeah, this is basically just my take on an effect like that. And there's a free link in the description to follow along. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we're in Premiere and I've actually imported the Driptex Mogurt. And here's the thing, it's really heavy. I would actually suggest doing everything in After Effects, but if After Effects isn't your strong suit, it is possible, but it's gonna take a long time to render. But um, here's the here's the quick rundown. So we got the, the master size, a place to change the text. So we have some wiggle adjustments, um, as well as you can turn off that chroma shift as well, and a place to switch up the colors. Again, I would highly suggest doing this over in After Effects, because you get a little bit more control and it'll be faster. Just keep in mind, this is super heavy. Okay, so here's the After Effects project that I've made. Um, I've actually lined up all the comps you can see on the left of one through six, and that's kind of the workflow that you need to go through to achieve this final effect. And before I go through any of the comps, I just wanna say that this is by no means like a perfect template. It's definitely got a lot of bugs in it. I tried my best to make it like a non-destructive workflow, and that is why there's so many comps, but um, yeah, I just wanted to get that out there and it's definitely gonna be a lot of trial and error. So just play around. I just wanted to make sure you knew that just in case something doesn't go uh, your way. But I will show you how I've set up the project. So the first comp is pretty simple. It's basically just where you change your text. Um, try to keep it inside this box. I will get into that a little bit later, but yeah. So let's start. And I'm gonna do what we actually made in the starting. So I'm gonna go Gotham Ultra and flip that to a stroke. Okay, and you can see it just immediately update here. Just a heads up, this project is pretty heavy because of all the effects on it, so just be wary of uh, what resolution you're viewing in. Okay, so let's hop back in. So number two is just a chroma shift, so you can turn that on and off um, if you aren't into it. In the third comp is where you're gonna change your color, and it says change color here, so just get in there. And both these comps are pretty similar, but um, you're gonna need to change the color on either one. I've already applied a few color effects um, on each clip, so you can just go ahead and play around and figure out something that works for you. The other thing I wanted to show you is um, if you wanted to use a clip. Here I have a clip from Mixkit, which is just these uh, liquid moving colors. I'll leave the links to the clips from Mixkit in the description below. If you've never heard of Mixkit, um, they are a royalty-free stock site that provides three different types of assets for creators to use. They got high-quality stock video, music tracks, and Premiere Pro templates. My intro in the beginning is also a template off their site as well. And everything is free to download. You don't even need to sign up. It's super simple. You just log onto the site, find what you're looking for, and click download. They have a constantly growing library with new video assets being added every week. So whatever you might need for your next project, Mixkit can definitely help you out. Check it out at mixkit.co. Basically all you need to do is throw your clip underneath and then hit alpha. Um, I will just update the effect. This is what it was before and this is what it was after. So again, um, I'm just gonna go dive back into here and I'm gonna switch it up with this color and same thing here so I just put it above and alpha mat and there you go if you want to go back to your color just switch that and there you go okay so this is the next comp and basically all this is is where all the smear and liquify effects are um, applied to yeah look at all these effects here okay, all those and the next one is just another chroma shift again you can turn that off and then we have the final effect in number six and this is where I have some controls for you and why I was saying in the beginning don't worry about your text position just kind of keep it in the box is because you can move it around here but just be careful because you can go too high and you can go too low and it won't be affected properly by all the liquify layers and besides that we got the master scale of the whole effect uh, we have a chroma on and off and to Give a little bit more to the animation. I have a wiggle speed and a wiggle amount so you can turn it up or turn it off if you want. And then we got a glow as well here. 
and then we have a soft blur and noise layer as well so you can dial that into your look and to round it all off it's all in a transparent layer so you can throw it on whatever you want and that's it yeah download it uh, and have some fun with it that's it for this video and if you liked it hit that thumbs up button and maybe stick around for more and hit that subscribe button